Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure and privilege for me to connect again, sharing some of my thoughts in this current episode. I would like to take another interesting topic for the modern life. Essentially, looking at the subject that there is something to be managed. That's what I chose to give the title as stress management because that's the way I think this particular topic has been popularized. This title is saying that stress management. Sometime back when I was listening to Sadhguru, in one of his visits to the Western world, he was saying that first time he is looking at the world who wants to manage something which is not required for our life in the sense that we can do wealth management, we can do health management, we can do business management and so on. So in those cases that managing really helps to create prosperity. But looking at the topic of stress management, that means stress itself is an unwanted aspect of our life. <clears throat> and why do we need to manage them? Before we get on to the topic little more in detail, when you say management, what is the connotation of this term management? Let us look at it. As we have been using this term management so loosely in many occasions, it's very important to see that what do we really mean as something called management. When you say something is being managed, it really boils down to four activities. Only when you do these four activities, you can say you are managing something. What Edward Deming said, the PDCA is what actually these four activities are. What are they? P stands for planning. That means the, anything that you want to manage, you need to plan, deciding what you are going to achieve. <clears throat> the D stands for doing it, which means that you need to execute your plan. So when you plan, if you don't do anything, that means that this plan doesn't become a reality. That is what P and D stands for. <clears throat> C stands for check. As you are doing things, check whether what you have planned is becoming a reality or not by suitable metrics and then make a course correction so that you will be on course. So that is what PD and C stands for. And the last term A stands for action. That means act. When you see that the course correction is undertaken, you need to ensure that you do certain activities to ensure that the whole project is goes on course. So when you do PDCA, you can say that you are managing something. It is very much applicable for a business management or a finance management or supply chain management and so on and so forth. Planning, doing, checking and acting. <laughs> but when we say stress management, what does this term management really means in the context of stress? So, this is just a misnomer here. <clears throat> that means something which you want to avoid in your life, why do you want to manage it? Does that mean that you are planning for stress? You are doing something to create stress? Are you checking whether you are really stressful? And whether you are making course correction, following the PDCA cycle, then you can say you are doing stress management. So that means in my personal view that the stress management itself is a misnomer, which is not really giving a clear idea. What are we talking about? Now, before we go into the detail, let us look at what is stress and what its effects are. Being a mechanical engineer, when I did my thesis at IIT Chennai, my main subject was stress, stress analysis. 
when you say stress analysis essentially figuring out the loaded members in any structure how it develops a stress and whether it will safely function or not that was the subject on which i specialized through finite element analysis so i do understand mechanically in a non living structure what stress really means let's take a simple example to appreciate what do we mean as a stress in the mechanical elements so that it will become easier for us to define what really stress means here as far as the human life is concerned when you take a simple rod steel rod and then try to pull it with a force the rod doesn't budge for elongating although there slightly an elongation takes place depending upon the force applied but the rod is resisting the elongation similarly if you are going to push the wall with both your hands with as much force you can apply the wall doesn't move away that means whatever the force that we are applying on the rod or the wall the object is resisting to move and hence it develops a stress so mechanically when you say something is stressed that means it is offering resistance so when it offers the resistance the stress is developed internally that means the molecular structure is not willing to budge for the external force to get dislocated so this is a natural process that means any mechanical member or anything in physicality when you try to apply a force it will offer resistance so according to newton's law of motion for every action there will be equal and opposite reaction so this is the nature's uh, law we cannot question them why is it that way so having said that in the mechanical point of view stress is something which is a resistance offered by the receiving object of the force trying to avoid the presence of the force is what we call it as a stress in the case of mechanical structures now what does that really mean in the context of human being in the context of human being there are several life situations which are continuously presenting in front of us in our day to day life some of those situations are favorable to us according to our own judgment some of them are really we would like to avoid them for example if you want to go to office and then we got stuck in the traffic jam we don't like going late to the office and you have no choice to overcome the traffic and you are forced to sit in the traffic that means when you are offering the resistance for that situation you slowly start becoming stressful and then you start murmuring about all that is happening in a traffic jam so a stress is a function of how are you negotiating at different life situations some of them you can do something about it some of them you cannot do anything about it so under those circumstances our reaction to that situation causes the stress in other words uh, extending the simile that we saw a mechanical structure offering resistance for the application of the force uh, we called it as a stress the same terminology is applicable for a human being who is offering resistance to a life situation and unwilling to accept it so that mean the life situation can be considered as the force applied on the member and the reaction that is coming from the structure is something equivalent to the human being's response to that situation that means as long as there is a resistance for the application of a force it leads to stress considering the same example suppose i am inserting my hand into the water the water doesn't offer any resistance for letting my hand to occupy a space so that means the water does not develop any stress 
while I am trying to push my hand into it. That means the action remaining the same, the water responds in a different way than a mechanical structure. So coming from that point of view, we need to understand what is stress. If we are not defining the stress properly, we will never be able to talk about how do we come out of this stress which is having a detrimental effect on our physical body as well as from our quality of life. So in summary, in this part one of the stress management topic, I thought I will define what do you mean by stress so that in the subsequent episodes, I'll be able to take this subject forward in terms of what are the effects of the stress and how one can probably eliminate this by shifting their paradigm and also applying certain tips in our daily life so that our quality of life improves significantly. I hope this session was useful and I'm sure that this will be applicable to people of all ages and I'm sure that you will continue to listen to this podcast and then take this forward in your life for improving the quality as well as the peace of mind. Thank you very much for your patient listening and your patronage. God bless you. Take care.